This is the laceless Adidas Nemesis 18 Plus with a retail price of $290. And this is the Adidas Nemesis Tango 18.1 TR with a retail price of $130. Now, while these aren't truly comparable products and that they're not made for the same thing, this is a top of the line football boot. This is simply a casual wear sneaker. They do have one very important element in common and that is the 360 degree agility bandage construction. In fact, you actually get more agility bandages on the sneaker versus the football boot. But the thing about the football boot is that this is actually something that is exclusive to this particular model in a laceless form and and you have to pay $290 for it. So either this is way overpriced or this is way underpriced because these utilize the same materials. One is 290, the other is 130. And that quite honestly just doesn't make much sense to me. I'm not one to complain about the pricing of top end boots especially, but if you're gonna have a flagship technology that is exclusive to your most expensive product, then if you're going to include that same technology on another product, the pricing should be similar. But this has the exact same technology for less than half the price. All that's telling me is that this boot for $290 could be a lot less expensive than it is. What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you my review plus on feet video of the brand new Adidas Nemesis Tango 18.1 TR lifestyle sneaker. Emphasis on lifestyle sneaker. This is not a dedicated indoor shoe. Please keep that in mind. But anyways, we're gonna take a closer look at what these things are all about in today's video. I was a big fan of the previous generation Nemesis sneakers. This is the new one. And basically it's laceless, it's mid-cut. It looks a lot like the $290 Nemesis 18 Plus, even features most of the same elements as far as the construction is concerned. So if you wanna learn more about these, including how they fit and feel and look on feet, because it is a casual wear sneaker after all, stick around and watch the entire video, because we're gonna be covering all of that. If you are interested in a pair of these for yourself, I'll leave a little pop-up on screen or you can click the first link down below. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find Buy It Now links with exclusive SR4U coupon codes below their normal retail price of $130, which all things considered is actually a pretty fair price for these. If you guys do end up enjoying the video, don't forget to support it with a like. And if you're new here watching for the first time, don't forget to hit that subscribe button along with the little bell notification for daily videos on all all the latest and greatest soccer gear. Included with the sneakers is a box. Just the box, that's it. First things first, and I know I said it already, but I want it to be 100% clear. This is a casual wear sneaker made for walking around. If you wanna juggle the ball in these, maybe even do some light freestyling, you absolutely can do that with this, but I would not recommend buying them as dedicated indoor shoes. There simply isn't a lot of lockdown here. It's not overly secure on your feet. It doesn't have the same shape as the Nemesis 18 Plus football boot, nor is this bottom intended for use as an indoor shoe. It's just not gonna have the stability it's high off the ground, it's made for walking around and wearing on a daily basis. So just keep that in mind if you're planning on picking these up. Since this is a casual wear sneaker, the look is obviously very important. And of course, just like the rest of the Adidas Tango lineup of casual wear sneakers, this is inspired by the Nemesis football boot. You definitely get that vibe from this particular shoe, being that it incorporates and utilizes the exact same 360 degree agility bandage material throughout the entire upper. It's not exactly the same construction as you'll find with the boot itself in that it does kind of overlap in, I guess, a more aesthetically pleasing way across the top of the foot at least i think this looks very cool wouldn't necessarily be the best in regards to touch on the ball that's why they didn't do it like this on the 18 plus and i guess it's also a little bit confusing that they called this an 18.1 rather than an 18 plus because we've kind of been trained that the plus model is always laceless and the point one always has laces this is an 18.1 that happens to be laceless but since it's casual wear honestly it doesn't really matter all that much what's also very interesting about this and again Kind of confusing considering the price difference between this sneaker and the top of the line Nemesis 18 Plus boots is that you get all the, the 360 agility bandages. Obviously it's not the same construction that you don't have the agility weave at the toe. I think this looks a little bit better in general, but you also find that the heel area, including the liner, is exactly the same as far as its construction and overall cut is concerned. Even if you look inside, it even has the same mesh reinforcement, which is extremely weird. Obviously, it doesn't have the same polyurethane top layer to protect this material. So again, if you choose to kick the ball in this, it's going to get dirty. It's 
very, very likely that the stitching and all these little bits, um, the elasticated material will start to snag and just look not very good to be quite frank. Um, but again, it's got so many elements from the Nemesis 18 Plus that I'm actually kind of surprised that it's only $130. As far as coloring is concerned, this is of course part of the Energy Mode Pack, which launches just in time for the 2018 World Cup. It's bright orange, basically tonal orange. You have lighter as well as darker orange incorporated. And then instead of the black Adidas stripes, they went with orange, which honestly, I think the black stripes probably would have looked a little bit better, but the sneaker's kind of weird looking as it is. So I don't think that the orange stripes necessarily look all that bad. And then of course, as far as the outsole is concerned, this is a carryover from the Nemesis 17.1 Tango sneaker that I was personally a very big fan of. This is kind of along the same lines as far as styling is concerned, but I guess a little bit more out there in that it does look more like the soccer cleat and this weird collar. I'm still of the opinion looks kind of weird. I guess it's not quite as bad in terms of casual wear, but as a football boot, I just think it's strange looking. But this outsole, I really like the look of. It's got this kind of wavy design along the outside, and then it just has this rubber across the bottom that's translucent. It's also climb -a cool um, kind of ventilated here at the bottom. So if you're walking through a lot of puddles, probably not ideal because it will let water right on into the inside of the shoe. The side piece here is also a hard plastic. As far as underfoot cushioning is concerned, it's a pretty standard foam. It's definitely not boost. It doesn't have that bouncy feel to it. I would actually go as far as to say that it's a little bit on the firmer side, but certainly not uncomfortable for walking around on a daily basis. While they're casual wear shoes, and honestly, I don't think it really matters all that much. I know a lot of you guys will ask about how much they weigh. In a size 9.5 US, the Nemesis Tango 18.1 TR sneaker weighs in at 10.3, 10.4 ounces. So obviously a lot more than what you'll find from the Nemesis 18 plus boots. That shouldn't be too surprising. And at 10 ounces, basically, honestly, these don't feel heavy on your feet at all. For casual wear, you're not gonna have any issues with the weight. So here they are on feet, and if you couldn't picture it already, it is kind of a weird looking sneaker. If you know what they are, then I guess it's a little bit cooler because it does look so much like the Nemesis 18 Plus boot, but it's still bright orange. It still looks like your feet are wrapped in bandages. And then it's got what I would say is kind of a chunky sole for a bright orange upper like this. I'm wearing them with some Tiro Adidas track pants, which pretty much everybody has. They taper a little bit slimmer towards your ankle. I'm not sure I would wear these with shorts. I'm definitely sure I wouldn't wear these with jeans. And it's one of those sneakers that honestly, Without black Adidas track pants, I'm not sure that I would wear at all. And it's one of those sneakers, especially in this colorway, that's just gonna be hard to pull off in general. You probably wouldn't wanna wear these every day unless you wanna be known as the guy with orange shoes. But as far as comfort is concerned, looks aside, it's a very comfortable sneaker. This bottom, while it's not boost cushioning, still feels very nice for casual wear. It's got good flexibility to it. The entire upper is fully elasticated, so it's very comfortable as well. And honestly, they're more secure than I was expecting them to be. The lockdown is nothing like you'll find from the Nemesis 18 Plus. So again, for actually playing in or doing any kind of running, they wouldn't necessarily be ideal, but for walking around casually and just wearing them on a daily basis, they are perfect comfortable. Width wise, I would say they're going to fit just about anybody. The overall shape is a lot wider and definitely higher volume than what you'll find from the cleats as well. And as far as sizing is concerned, I'm wearing them in the same size nine and a half US that I would wear in the cleats. And I can tell you that these actually fit a little bit bigger in general, which is not a bad thing considering they are for casual wear. So if you are looking to get a pair for yourself, I would personally recommend going true to size in order to achieve the best possible fit. So in conclusion, I have to say that I am personally a really big fan of this sneaker. I said very openly that I thought the Nemesis 18 plus boot was kind of weird looking. I think this looks better as a casual wear shoe than it does as a football boot, but the fact that it is football boot inspired at the same time is kind of cool. Obviously in this energy mode pack colorway, bright orange, not something you're gonna be able to wear on a daily basis, but as far as comfort and overall styling is concerned, I think that this is a style of sneaker right now that is very, very popular. And I quite frankly, just like the look of them. I'm excited to see them in future colorways. I think if you're a fan of the Nemesis styling and you like the whole mid cut laceless sneaker look, there's a lot to like about the Nemesis 18.1 TR, especially considering that it's pretty fairly priced. Anyways, guys, that 
that is it for my review. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to support it with a like. If you're interested in a pair of these for yourself, again, you can click the first link down below. That'll take you to the review page on my website where you'll find buy it now links with exclusive SR for you coupon codes. Where you'll be able to pick these up below their normal $130 retail price. If you have any questions, as always, leave them down below in the comments and I'll do my best to get an answer out to you as soon as I possibly can. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all my social media information linked down below in the description as well. Other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks for watching.